Now, he's a TV health expert from Hatton in Derbyshire who, through grit and determination, lost a great deal of weight. But he's here this morning to talk about what he's recently gained. No, he's not put it all back on again. We're talking this morning about how God has entered his heart following a recent life-changing trip to Egypt. Here to tell us all about it is ex-Big Breakfast fitness presenter and now holistic lifestyle coach. Bill, you up, Jody? I haven't I'm I'm Jody Good morning. Good I'm morning. I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> now, it's great to have you on the show, by the way. Thank you. Now, being a holistic lifestyle coach, has it, does it have spiritual benefits? And also, can you give us like a thumbnail sketch of what it is? Okay, right. A holistic lifestyle coach basically looks at your mind, body, and your soul. So instead of just saying, you know, go and do this exercise or go and eat this, we look at the whole picture. So we're we'll studying your whole health. Um, and obviously, when you look at the bigger picture, you can you can help the, the root cause, so to speak. Um, but the actual lifestyle coach is mainly to do with nutrition and exercise, but obviously it has a huge impact on your mind and also your spirit. Um, and this is where I've been researching my... Good morning to you. Now, uh, you've probably just been listening. If you've missed it, I'm here with Jody Bunting. How are you doing? Still all right? I'm fine. Yeah, you? he's still alive. He's in the studio. <laughs> he's got his water. He's so healthy. He's got his water in front of him and everything. He's off to teach a class soon. Now, you're just getting to this point where life was going to change for you. You know what I mean? How, how did that happen? Okay. Um, so, I was going to the church in Egypt. Um, and as I say, was was going to the mosque as well with my Muslim friends. Um, and kind of just from my friends and just telling them how my life is over, uh, over here. Because a lot of them say, you know, why do you come to Egypt? You know, you've got, it's like a, almost a third world country still. And you're living in the best country in the world. Why do you come here? Um, and I explained to them that it's to do with friendship. It's to do with the people. 
um, and the communities of my friends, for the first time, I actually feel like I've got brothers. I know it's kind of cliche to say, um, but once you have an Egyptian friend, you do have a friend for life, somebody who really does look out for you. Um, and although I've got great friends here, you know, people are busy with their lives, people are busy with their families, um, and friendship doesn't mean the same here as what it means in Egypt, I can assure you. <laughs> there, well, there, there is, actually, because there's some similarities with, with some of the Bible stories of, of the intimacy of friendships that they have in the East that they don't have in the West. Absolutely. You know, and I think you've perhaps felt a little bit about that. But um, what similarities is there with the Christian way of life and your holistic style?